with a sneak peek of upcoming Halloween skin to Lancelot getting godly skins, also Lunox Libra is getting reworked. We have plenty to talk about, so let's watch the video now to find out more. Hi guys, Kazuki here and in this video we are going to talk about all the major changes and upcoming updates that patch note 1.8.18 came up with. Here are the questions from our previous video. The first question is from Akuk Mongzer and he is asking what my favorite song is. There are many songs which I like but currently I am vibing to Joji slow dancing in the dark. The second question is from Ashishari and he is asking who's my favorite eSport team is. It's a really difficult question and it's hard to choose. But if you really want to know, it's Blacklist International. They have shown a consistent and really good performance. Drop your comments down below and I will answer them. Do keep an eye out for hidden codes in this video. Moving on to hero adjustments. One one is getting a buff. After the previous skill to changes made to her, she became easier to catch. So her basic attack range is now bigger by 0.2 units. Range of her ultimate is also increased by 0.3 units. Lunox is getting adjusted. The developers are doing some experimental adjustments with some numerical and effects adjustments. Her passive is getting a buff. The effect where she could not benefit from cooldown reduction has been removed. A new effect where Lunox when using power of chaos, she gains one magic penetration for every 1% spell whim. When Lunox uses power of order, she gains 1% spell whim for every 1 magic penetration. The energy cap changed from 2 to 1 for each power. Her skill 1 is getting adjusted. The former skill 1, the older skill, is replaced with her former skill 3. A new effect where she recovers HP upon hitting enemies has been added. The effect when she slowed enemies hit by her skill 2 has been removed. A new effect in her order ultimate has been added where she restores HP upon hitting enemies. A new effect in her chaos ultimate has also been added where she removes the mana cost of skill 2 during the chaos ultimate. Selena is getting adjusted. Her passive is adjusted. The maximum mark stakes on a target have been reduced from 2 to 1. Her skill 1 in L1 form now applies the Abyssal mark when enemies trigger the trap but no longer applies it when the Abyssal Devil explodes. The explosion radius has roughly doubled and it damages minions as well. This results in greatly If you are looking for a 100% safe and secure diamonds, Kazuki official store is here to fulfill your need. We are trusted by more than 100k MLBB players from India, Philippines and Europe. Do visit our website and browse between various packs increased damage against creeps and minions. Her skill 2 in Elven form no longer applies the abyssal mark upon hitting an enemy and no longer grants movement speed. It deals extra damage to minions and allows immediate casting of skill 1 on the enemy hit regardless of distance. Her skill 1 in abyssal form is adjusted and now hitting a marked enemy refreshes the cooldown of skill 2 in abyssal form. And the mana cost has been removed. A body flames, a heart the abyss. In her skill 2 in abyssal form, the mana cost for this skill has been removed. Lilia is getting a buff. The developers are bringing back her 10 stakes combo. Her skill 2 is getting a buff. At maximum level, Gloom's explosion that hit an enemy hero will immediately grant 1 stake of shadow energy. 
Dairoth is getting a nerf. Uh, nah, Ziskill nah, nah. one is getting a nerf. The fixed to cooldown today. at 5 seconds has been changed to 8 seconds in the early game and 6 seconds in the late game. Ziskill 2 is also getting a nerf. Overall base damage has been reduced by 152 points in the early game and by 230 points in the late game. The physical defense weakening has been reduced by 20% in the early game and increased by 5% in the late game. And the cooldown has been increased from 2 seconds in the late game and remains the same in the early game. Nah, nah, nah. The 55% slow effect for 0.5 seconds on his ultimate has been removed. Masha is getting enough. Her passive is getting enough. Each point of physical defense is now converted into 0.25 physical attack. Her HP bar bonuses have been adjusted. Her skill 1 is getting enough. The cooldown has been increased by 2 seconds in the early game and 1 second in the late game. Movement speed and attack speed boost have been reduced. HP region has been adjusted. Her ultimate base damage has been reduced by 50 points both in the early game and the late game. The slow effect has been reduced by 15%. Florine is getting a nerf. Her passive is getting enough. The base shield has been reduced by 50 points. The magic power bonus to damage in skill 1 has been reduced by 80% and the magic power bonus to healing has been reduced by 10%. The bonus healing equal to 5% of the target's lost HP has been removed. Her ultimate is adjusted. The healing reduction immunity has been re-added but the healing values have been adjusted. Yuzong is getting buff. His passive is getting buff. The extra damage based on the target's lost HP has been increased by 0.5%. The cooldown of his skill 2 has been increased from 11 seconds at all levels to 12 seconds. Cyclope is getting above. His skill 1 is getting above. Its cooldown has been reduced by 1 second. The mana cost has now been changed to 50 in the early game and 100 in the late game. His skill 2 movement speed boost has been increased by 20% which decays 30% over 2 seconds. Popol and Koopa are getting above. His passive is getting above. Koopa's extra damage against creeps has been increased by 20%. Mathilda is getting above. Her skill 2 is getting above. Cooldown has been changed from 12 seconds at all levels to 12 seconds in the early game and 11 seconds in the late game. Vexana is getting adjusted. Her skill 1 is getting nerfed. Cooldown has been increased by 3 seconds in the early game and 2.5 seconds in the late game. The silence of Necrokeep is too cold, too loud. Her skill 2 is getting buff. Mana cost has been reduced by 60 points in the late game and remains the same in the early game and cooldown has been reduced by 2 seconds in the early game and 1.45 seconds in the late game. Kadita is getting adjusted. Her skill 1 is getting enough. Base damage has been reduced by 50 points both in the early and the late game. Her ultimate is getting above. Base damage has been increased by 30 points both in the early and the late game. Return waves damage has been adjusted. Iksha is getting enough. The attack speed boost effect on her ultimate has been removed. And the cooldown has been increased by 6 seconds in both the early and the late game. Lolita is getting nerf. Her attributes have been adjusted. Her base HP has been decreased by 124 points. HP growth has been decreased by 22 points. Her ultimate slow effect has been increased by 20%. The cooldown has been increased by 6 seconds in both the early game and the late game. Angela is getting enough. Magic power bonus from her skill 1 has been reduced by 30%. Valentina is getting enough. The damage from her skill 1 has been reduced by 40 points in the early game and 65 points in the late game. The magic power bonus has been reduced by 25%. Eve is getting enough. 
the extra damage at the center of her skill 1 no longer affects minion. Moving on to battlefield adjustments. The warrior boots has been buffed. Its passive valor now gains 5 physical defense when you are struck by basic attack. Flask of the Oasis has been nerfed. Flask of the Oasis passive is now triggered when the HP is below 35% but the shield is now reduced by 500 points. The power potion has been buffed. The life steal has been increased by 5%. Rogue potion has been nerfed. The resilience granted by the potion has been reduced by 5%. There are some experience adjustments being made. The EXP needed to reach level 3 and 4 has been reduced to balance it out. The developers has increased the EXP needed to reach level 5 and 6. They have also buffed the EXP gain from creeps by 1 to 2%. Moving to bug fixes. Pro setups for some regions and heroes have been adjusted. Fredrin's screen shake issue has been fixed. Beatrix's shotgun whiskers issue has been fixed where the damage indicator and the damage radius didn't match. Moving on to weekly free heroes. Here are weekly free heroes from September 8 to 15 September. Here are the extra free heroes for the Starlight members. Moving to surveys. First, we have Lancelot Epic Skin Surveys. The name of design one is Cherry Blossom Fox. The revised survey from the prior week. Overall, the design is the same, just the sword is made more fleshy. The design number two is called Yata Mira Spirit. It has a Chinese god's vibe related to it. The name itself refers to a mirror world spirit. The style is genuinely classic. Furthermore, the blood shattering effect is epic. Guren Susano is the third design. Susano is the name for the Japanese deity of storms, thunder, lightning, and the sea in Japanese mythology. Do you guys believe that the design accurately captured this? Lancelot comes across as a deity, and that sword seems like it fell from heaven. Chase Hunter is the fourth design. My initial impression of the sword is that it fits on skins with an old star theme. The Fox type armor complements him and the whole design has a mecha vibe. The final design is referred to as Star Knight. Don't you guys think it resembles Zodiac skins a little bit? Look at those swords and the coloring scheme for example. Second on our list is the epic skin survey winner of Selena. I think the design is awesome and would love to purchase it. The Hellcat Revamp survey comes last. I have no idea why but it makes me seem scarier. And what is that bulging thing? Coming to Fragment Shop update. In the rare skin section, Freya Dragon Hunter, Geelong Eastern Warrior, Aldous the Insentient, Cyclops Deep Sea Rescuer and Yuzong Emerald Dragon will no longer be available. Natalia Phantom Dancer, Moscow Snake Eye Commander, Clint Rock and Roll and Alucard Viscount will be available to be purchased for 200 rare fragments each. In the hero section, Kagura Chao Aman and Xavier will no longer be available. Vexana Digi Kaja, Irithel Wan Wan Lilia Banereta, Beatrix Silos Fredrin and Melissa will be available to be purchased for 120 hero fragments each except Diggy for 100 fragments. This update will arrive on September 20th. Moving on to another section. The name of Johnson's MLBB 7th anniversary event skin will be called Star Blazer. Kaja Epic skin will be called Inferno Taskmaster and will be available on September 19th via Lucky Flip event. Here's an intro to Nolan's basic skin, Void Walker. Gaze upon the edge of the void. This is an artwork of the upcoming Akai Halloween skin. Here's an artwork of Lancelot's first purchase skin called Marcus of Blades. 
This is an artwork of revamped Lunox Libra skin. Here's an artwork of the upcoming Layla October Starlight skin called Twilight Worlds. It will come two painted skins called Midnight Worlds and Sunset Worlds. And here is its sacred statue. The Layla user interface will change in the upcoming update on September 19 and Nolan will replace Layla in Season 30. Lastly, here's a wallpaper of Melissa, upcoming November Starlight, called Nightwalker. And here is its sacred statue. So what do you guys think about the upcoming skins? Are you excited that Layla is getting 3 upcoming skins? Ready? Share your thoughts in the comment section. That will be all for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Keep supporting Kazuki Official.